Good evening, everybody. Um, today I'm opening this Universal or Universal Treasures Sports Cards, numbered 976 out of 10,000. And with this, um, you can find some treasures here. So you get four Universal Treasures rack packs, probably repacks, I believe. Each pack contains 35 random original vintage tops cards from 52 to 86. Um, you can get a cool card like that or any of these awesome cards, obviously. That's the biggest chase card you, you can land there. Um, and I believe each pack comes with uh, those two cards. You can get a vintage pack from 80 to 90 and some autographs. I actually just recently watched somebody open this and was like, man, I got I gotta go for it. So logged into these guys, their website. Um, I don't know what that is. Something, something to do with a time machine and whatnot. Um, I think it might be, ow, just stab myself. It might be on the box, so we'll check it out in just a second. Let's get this open. I like the packaging. I mean, I know they're, you know, they're not like a big company like Tops or anything like that. Sorry, let me just discard that. Um, they're not like a big company, but they really do the nice packaging here. And they have a, you know, numbered item. So let me see. This is the Halloween Rack Pack edition, edition there. Check out the back. That's the back of it. There's some odds listed there. Um, okay, 1 in 10, 1 in 500. Uh, looks like it'll be a redemption card if it is the mantle. So there you go. All right, well, without further ado, let's open it up. Here we go. Um, let me just bend that a bit. All right, oh, that's a good start. On the bottom there, Nolan Ryan. Candy, I don't like candy. My belly loves candy, too. All right, so there you go. That's that. It's now empty. I'll see if I can put this in the background. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can't see it. Um, put it here so you have a little product placement. There you go. And, um, wow, let's let's get open in this. Um, let me just start off here. I just ate some beef jerky, so... Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to chew some gum to... Um, Get rid of that taste a little bit. Really like beef jerky. It's probably the best kind of thing in the world. Haven't opened Bazooka Joe in a while. So this is going to be a bonus opening. Is opening Bazooka Joe. Looks fresh. I think it is. All right. Gee, Pesty, you skate good. What's the hardest thing about skating? The ice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Alright. Go to bazookajoe.com, enter that code. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. Sorry, I'm just chomping away at this gum. Be very careful. I, I'm going to grab some scissors on the next one. All right, there we go. George Brett, all-star card. Johnny Bench, nice. So this is a 1980. Johnny Bench, that's 81. Rick Miller, um, 79. This is 83. Yeah, 83. Wow, Johnny. Wow, 74, Johnny Jeter. That's a 69, Bobby Klaus. Hey, Jimmy Catfish Hunter there. Definitely not his rookie, but a 79, Hunter. Dusty Baker, Burt Hooten. Is that 81? 80? I'm going to find out. Keith Hernandez, okay. 82, Henry Cotto, Dan Cuisenberry. And Mark Littell, possibly. All right, so out of that pack, 
we got a few big names coming out of there. We, you know, we picked up George Brett, of course. So um, Keith Hernandez was a big name. Dusty Baker, Catfish Hunter. Um, who else? Who else? And then Bench and Brett. All right, so that was a pretty good little section there. I'm going to go grab some scissors. We're back with some scissors. Well, that didn't make it any easier. There it goes. Nice and taut. All right, so these are gonna be our hits up here. Kind of see them in the background. And then the regular cards. Candy. Um, that is a body parts candy. All right, here we go. 1975 tops it's 74 al champions championship the a's beat the orioles Ooh. wait a's three games orioles one game okay it's nice i mean all these cards are in really good shape too which is great all right reggie jackson 86 tops good really good condition that's a good one cardinals there with Vern rap as the manager Nice Mickey Klutz, or is it Klutz? You tell me. Dave Frost. Hey, there you go. That is a legitimate 89 tops traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. There you go. That's, I am assuming, the biggest hit we're going to get. Um, oh, we'll keep that with the hit section. I don't know, you know, what's what, Claudel Washington. Um well, actually, I don't think that's one of the hits. I think it's just one of the standard ones, Alan Ashby. Here's some future stars. Bryn Smith, Terry Francona. There you go, manager. Uh, Dave Parker on the Pirates there. Oh, wow. Joe Morgan, 1985 tops. Wow, look at this. 1970. Kurt Martin off center, but in really good, you know, sharp corners and whatnot. Wow, that's pretty nice. Really, really nice cards there. I think this uh, this you you, got, you have to log into their site, but I think it was um, I think it was one seventy maybe for uh, for this whole uh, little kitten caboodle. All right, here we go. This is um, I guess technically pack three of one. Does that make sense? Did I say it right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Here we go. Jimmy Palmer. Alex Johnson. Rob Wilfong. Jesse Orozco. Bob Baylor. Gary Carter. Oh, man. Fooled me. Get stuck with John Hoover. Thought it was going to be old McGuire. John Denny. Oh, nice Ricky Henderson. What is this, his second year or third year? 82 tops? I think this is 82 tops right there. That's cool. Oh, Alan Trammell. Um, yeah, 82 tops. There you go. Greg Minton. And back to old Jim Palmer. All right. So, you know, came through in the end there with those. All right, let's see what we have. We have Ken Boswell, Reggie Jackson, and I don't know what that one is. Name starts with a W. All right, so we're going to grab some more candy. Throw that over to the side. Pull these bad boys out. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Ken Boswell, Gold Cup, Little Pete Rose All-Star. Nice off center Ken Berry, Dick Williams, Johnny Bench, Bill Robinson of the Pirates, 
Tom Seaver, Bill Allman, Eddie Murray, look at that facial hair, Doug Bird, Andre Dawson, nice, ooh, another Reggie Jackson, um, yeah, I think we can have a fair amount of Reggie Jackson cards, there we go, so here comes another Reggie, another Reginald Jackson, I wonder, is that his full name, Reginald, I wonder, I mean, that's probably what Reggie is short for. Just seems like it would be a name, you know, like that. There you go, old Reggie. Let's check the back. Just Reggie. Uh, series celebration on top of the world. Pirates. Nice. Mike Richard. Don't know who this guy is. <laughs> kind of looks like uh, John C. McGinley there, huh? Well... Better call Hollywood. We have ourselves a biopic to make. Here we go. Luke Walker. Tony Gwynn. Was it third year? Second, third year? Um, I think second year. Nice Tony Gwynn. Jose Canseco. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, in 1986, that was a... Ah, the, tricked me again. Um, Canseco rookie on the traded set. That's a good one. Mike Dunn tricked me again, and there you go. All right. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost missed this one. This could be the... Oh, is this perforated? Nope. Okay. All right. Cat. Flipper flapping around. Here we go. A's do it again. This guy knows I'm an A's fan. Oh, Rock Reigns right there. Hall of Famer. Bob Robertson. So Robert Robertson is his full name. Saucy. Kirkwood. Gary Carter. Yeah, I didn't think so. Pat Zachary. Dewey. Eddie Murray again. I like Eddie Murray. Mr. 3000. Suter, the All-Star, Gary Nolan, and that's it. So that was not a very good pack. But this next pack, at least this card right here, is that 59? Or is that 59 tops? I, I don't remember. But it looks like it's in good condition. And like the rest of these cards, they're all in good condition, sharp corners. But they all seem to have... Um, oh, I, I, I did it wrong. They all seem to have uh, be off center, so that to me the product looks great, you know, and y you know you do get the chase card opportunities and land some all stars, but pretty big odds of them turning out off center, such as Sammy White here. Nice card though, very good shape, 1959 tops. Lou Pinella, Nelson Bryles, Beckwith. Davey Paca, no. Bob Welch, all right. Garland, Burt Blylevin, I think he's a Hall of Famer also. Steve Sachs, Gary Carter, another Bruce Souter, Mike Scott, and um, yeah, nothing great. I mean, you get a couple Hall of Famers in there. Probably not going to keep all of those, um, just because they're, none of them are really that good. The, I think the Canseco and the Griffey are probably the better cards, I'm guessing, out of that little lot. Here we go. Next stack. Eddie Murray again. Oh, that's a nice looking. Pretty pretty good. Bottom's a little worse for wear there. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Yeah, but uh, nice card. 73 tops. Is this a Butler rookie? Nah. Oh, Brett Butler. Manager Dave Bristol of the Giants. Another freaking Bruce Souter card. Oh, Carney Lansford. Oh, nice. Not the Carney Lansford, though Carney is good. Barry Bonds of the 86 Tops traded. Rookie card. I don't have that one, so that's that's pretty cool for me. De Jesus, Roy Smith, Ontiveris, Garvey. Oops. And nice little Carlton Fisk there. All right. 
So, I mean, the, the hits that I'm getting, the, the bigger cards or the better, I, I guess if you go in, if you judge it by value, um, price, then the better cards are coming in the mid 80s, right? So, you know, we have the 86 um, Bonds, 86 Conseco, and then the 89 Griffey. So I could, uh, you know, pick those up for five dollars each well tom siever i mean it is nice to look at these older cards and they are in really good shape again a lot of them off center but you know you do get some good cards so you're paying the high dollar mark for the chase cards um fingers crossed we land one of those that was a pretty busted pack there but you know i think the odds are not not in our favor, but we did land ourselves. Any Nolan Ryan card from the early 80s is a good card for me. I really like, uh, I have a decent little Nolan Ryan card collection going. Um, so I, I really like landing a Nolan Ryan there. He's a great, great pitcher. This is a nice card, was that 83 or 84? 84 tops, Nolan Ryan. It's clean, good card. And you see that one right there, right? It looks like Frank Thomas's rookie. I'll be happy if his name isn't on the front, but we know it will be. Gary Carter, Tony Perez, Frank Thomas. I already have a bunch of those. Hey, Wade Boggs. Is that his? No, not his rookie. Come on. Or is it? Would they call that his rookie card, I wonder? I mean... I'm gonna save it to the side. I don't. I don't know that. That I thought eighty. I think that's eighty four tops. I think his rookie year is eighty three. Yeah, I'll save it anyway. Underwood, Daryl Evans, and back to Deets. Okay. I mean, again, nice quality cards. Seems like the bigger names are off center, so you're not gonna send it into PSA and grab yourself a ten on any of those. Let's see. Ah, oh, dude. Didn't cut right. Pepitone. Joe Pepitone. Mike Schmidt, 86. The big names coming at 86 out of here. Stupor. Goose Gassage. Fred Lynn. George Hendrick. Oh, Cal Ripken Jr. there. What's that, 84? Four? Yeah, 84 tops. I like Cal Ripken Jr. All right, another Steve Garvey card. Stinson. Oh, look at how off-center these old cards are. I mean, like, so off-center. I don't know. It's 68 tops. Yeah, the centering, man. That's one thing that I, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Um... Again, I think this was, it was either one, between 160 and 180 for this pack or box. You know, you, you take a chance. Um, so again, pay the money if you want the, uh, if you're, if you're going to try to get a chase card. Otherwise, I don't know, save your bucks. For 180, I probably could have bought one of those chase cards. A little Dell Murphy there. Rupert Jones, Lou Whitaker. They call him Sweet P. Lou or is that just the boxer? Um, yeah, there you go. Nothing, nothing good. Nothing. I mean, you get paper rose. So that is all out of that box. Not great. So my favorites out of here, I mean, you get the Frank Thomas rookie, Nolan Ryan there. Of course, the Barry Bonds. That's a great card. Uh, Jose Canseco, still valuable cards. Gwynn, Jackson, Jackson, Murray, Seaver. See, you, you do get some really big names. Um, but, you know, value-wise, the Griffey, definitely. You get a Francona rookie, Johnny Bench, George Brett. So, you know, not worth the money. Unless you collect older cards, then yeah, of course. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. I, I thought it was, it's, it's fun to check out these older cards. Um so yeah that, that, that's that's the video again universal treasures uh purchase these bad boys you get free candy 
during Halloween. So there you go. All right. Thanks, guys.